This week, I, I'm going to talk about briefly, guys, for my message of the week here is from a book called The Vortex. And I'm going to get that information. I'm just pulling it up. By Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Vortex, where the law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. And I, my, my good friend Nika, actually, um, who's very in tune with a lot of this stuff, reached out last week and she started sending me some of this stuff from Esther Hicks and she goes, you need to listen to this. And I go, what? I haven't, I've heard of her name. I said, but I haven't listened to any of her stuff. Not that I'm aware of. And uh, so I downloaded a couple of her books and watched some of her YouTube videos. And again, it's a never ending game of learning and, and reinforcing. And, and so for me, <clears throat> the, in the law of attraction and and you'll have some people that oh that's a bunch of uh, hocus pocus and it's been proven it's not it's all energy based and it all deals around the the premise of ask believe receive and and oftentimes we're all have the ability to ask asking is probably the easiest of the three of uh you know of or positive affirmations and, and putting out things, it's like if you don't have uh, enough money and, you know, um, and then you learn, it's not saying I, I want more money, it's I have enough money and it's, be, it's being grateful for what you have and, but believing what you're actually, the words that you're asking or affirming that believing is the next hardest part on that because oftentimes we could say one thing, but we don't believe and, and that, that's a huge gap and that's where people oh, that doesn't work that doesn't work you know i want a million dollars i i i said i was going to have a million dollars and and but they didn't truly believe it and then they didn't follow it up with action because they didn't believe it to begin with so there was no positive action no 10x effort on that as well but then it comes down to and for me i always learn things in different stages and or it like something will click on a higher level than it even clicked before and i go oh fuck I'm not doing that part of it as good as I was. And uh, so that's why it's a never ending game on all this, especially in the times that we live in. And for me, that I, the one thing I'm really getting out of all this is the feeling aspect of actually feeling good. And I've talked about having, having a business and different things. And there's days when I get really, really stressed out and I have so many people messaging me. I can't keep up with all of it. And I just got to put my phone down and get away. And uh, for me, feeling good is in it's being understanding that you have enough, being grateful for what you have and, and it concentrating on the right things. But for me, and I, and I talked about this on different things in that dropping bombs podcast, feeling good is, is just, you know, so treating other human beings good, holding a door open for somebody, doing a good deed, smiling at somebody, doing these little things are the kind of the starting point of feeling good that could put you in the right frame of mind to receive the asking and the believing. It kind of ties it all together because if you're feeling good, that, that right there is the most important, important step in being happy and being grateful. And if you're feeling good, that makes that stuff that much easier. Whereas if you're fighting that and you're in a bad mood, <clears throat> and you're putting out that negative energy and you're not truly feeling it, the asking and the believing, it's a disconnect. And it all doesn't, you need your, the energy to all match up, if that makes sense. Ask, believe, receive. You gotta be in perfect harmony, in perfect, fr perfect frequency with the universe on the law of attraction. And it's not easy. It's not always easy. And there's times when it's, and it's constantly, it's catching yourself when you're negative or when you're not feeling good. And you, because bad things happen. Somebody does something, somebody messes up for me, that works for me, I'm going to get angry. Or I send three texts and then they ask again, what do I need to do? You get angry and then you got to just, no, feel good, be grateful. And again, have those things and that you could, like my dogs, my dogs make me happy no matter what. I find myself, if something and I get stressed, I go to the dogs because I know the dogs are going to put my mind in a good place that will then help me take that and carry it back over to what I'm doing. So we got to have these little things, you know, we're pissed off, we're fucking angry. We, we go to the grocery store and then we we think that uh, we don't have to hold the door open for somebody or we kind of go out of our way to kind of be a little mean to somebody or we don't want to return our shopping cart. Well, I'm pissed off, I don't have to return my shopping cart. Ah, the, the store made me angry. And then you all of a sudden, it's just this, whereas you could, you could we're choosing to do that. And if we just go out of our way to become conscious of this, because it happens to all of us, 
we could shift out of that a little quicker. But ask, believe, receive. And the key to receiving what we want, and again, hard work and all that is just automatically figured in, is feeling good. We have to be on a feeling good frequency. And we have to have things that we can go to that make us feel good. Because we're all going to feel bad. It, probably multiple times throughout the day. And it's up to us to find the things that make us feel good, get in that feel good mo moment, and then take it to the areas that maybe we weren't feeling as good about and try to salvage that. And it's a never ending game, guys. And we all, it's, it's being aware of it and working on it. And ask, believe, receive. How do I receive right back? You feel good. Figure out what makes you feel good. What do you want then? You ask. You have to believe. You believe by doing the work. That's where it ties in. A lot of people have a disconnect on that. Believe. You have confidence when you believe, and you believe you because of the work. That's my motivational thought of the week on that guy. Hey, guys. It's the big guy, Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all-natural my all-natural supplement line. Supplement. Supplement. Stupid. My all-natural supplement line. Feed Me More Nutrition available on Amazon and FeedMeMore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget. Feed Me More. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out FeedMeMore.com.